Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Everybody in! Go, go, go! 
Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. to outside stimuli by showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out! Keep moving. We need to get you to the shuttles. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your... 
They've seen us. Take the elevator and down one floor. Hurry! Get to the door! Run! You're doing great, Shepard. Head to the next room and I'll try to meet you. Shepard, you can read me. I've got Vic closing in on my position. Progress is slow. That subject shows some... You were still a work in progress. Look, pal, I don't know where I am or how I got here. Plus, my head feels like an overripe melon ready to split open. How about you fill me in a little? Damn. Yeah, I forgot this is all new to you. Sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in. But we better get you to the shuttle first. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible, unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. <laughs> Ready to get the hell off this station? What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind, you need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <clears throat> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot! How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A 
bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. You told me you were with the Alliance. I don't like being played for a sucker. I didn't lie to you, Commander. I was with the Alliance before I joined Cerberus. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. Been spotted. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. 
He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when slavers hit Mindwar. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? No way I was gonna let those slaver bastards send me running. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and Igeth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. They're rebuilding, still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. 
You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear, and we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second-guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. at the other column. Shields of fake. Ah. Shoot them before they pick up the shield. Those men should have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. 
She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Make activity. this. Come on, we can still catch them. Get to veto first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Affirmative. Moving to cover. Moving to cover. Never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Overload will take out their shield. Come in handy. Monsters coming back. Max will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. 
Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Max will protect. <laughs> Human? Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data. But it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. The data from his Omni tool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing it. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Tell me what you know about these Collectors. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. 
That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army, or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker swarms. Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. <laughs>